Hi there, boys and girls. We're in here in the church sanctuary because we're getting ready for vacation Bible school. And uh, that starts tomorrow uh, in the morning. And uh, so we run through the morning with it. I'll be out with the youth class out in our pavilion. Uh, with them out there and we'll be doing our program there. But uh, we start in here in the morning and then we go to our classes and they're all over the building. And uh, so uh, it's uh, Snyder's and um, Delville and Roseland working together to do our Bible school this week. So anyway, if you can come, be here at 8.30 and we'll take you in, all right? Okay, now we're picking up our story of Ringu, and you may remember that uh, uh, Ringo had been out with his father and some other men, and they, they had um, managed to kill the tiger that had threatened their lives, and uh, so they, they felt safe. And he had come back into town all excited and yelling and, and telling people, the tiger's dead, the tiger's dead, we're safe. Well, as he came into town, there was uh, Grub Saib, the missionary. He was stuck in the ditch, and um, it was a hard time. So he asked Ringo to get the bullocks and, and pull him out. Well, Ringo did, although he told a lie before he did. He said he might be out in the field, it'd be a while. Uh, they were in the stall, he knew that. But See, Ringo is used to telling lies, and he's used to taking things that he's not supposed to take. And, that's starting to come back on him. He's in trouble. But anyway, he got the bullocks and they pulled the, they pulled the jeep out. Uh, and so missionary um, Grubbs said, I'm going to have Pandu play the harmonium for you. Well, that just about did Ringo in because he knew that the harmonium wasn't in the, in the pickup, in the truck. And uh, so he didn't know what to do. Uh, anyway, missionary Grubbs went back and couldn't find it. And he said, Pandu did the did the harmonium fall out? We haven't got time to look for it. I wanted to play it for uh, Ringo and, and, and such before we left, but we can't do that. Ringo, can you look for the harmonium while we're gone? We're, we're going to be gone a while. We have to get to another village and, um, and tell them about Jesus. So uh, Ringo kind of nodded his head, and he, he said he would promise. You remember how they promise in Ringo? Cross their arms and pull on their earlobes. That means I'll do it. Uh, we don't have that in our culture. We just say, sometimes cross my heart, I hope to die. Uh, and uh, I never understood that one either. But, uh, but sometimes people say that. And then sometimes they cross their fingers when they make a promise, and then it doesn't count. Uh, so you can do whatever. But anyway, uh, they asked Ringo to look for it, and, and Ringo kind of promised that he would, uh, although he knew where the harmonium was. And, and he was worried. Now that night, as he, uh, as he lay in his bed, I'll get this page turned right here. He was, uh, I ate his supper and he was laying in the bed and the firelight was nearby him and he was, he was feeling miserable because he, he knew that he'd done wrong and, and that uh, the Grub Saeed, the missionary, was, um, was going to be limited in what he could do because of the harmonium. And, and so, so they couldn't play the music in the next village that they planned to do, like they'd done in, in Ringo's village. And, and so um, he just didn't know what to do. He felt like he'd done something wrong. Now that's, a, that's part of, of what was happening was he began to feel like he'd done something wrong. He said, everybody lies and steals. And, and that can be in some cultures a, a thing. If you can lie and, and trick somebody, um, then you kind of got away with it. That means you're smart. And likewise, if you steal something and you get away with it, now if you get caught, that's, that's humiliation. But if you get away with it, uh, you can even stand on the outside of a village after you've stolen something from the people there and call out to them and say, look what I got from you, and you couldn't stop me. See, they gloat. That means they, they, they're so proud of what they did. Well, that's part of the culture of the Corpus, which is part of what Ringo was a part of, that, that tribe. So he said, they all do lying and stealing, but I feel terrible. I feel terrible because missionary groups said that the God doesn't like it. And then he mentioned also in the commandments of, of God, the Ten Commandments, so there's one that says, you shall not lie. And another one says, you shall not steal. And uh, even the tenth one says, you shall want what everybody else has. 
you should be content with what you have. So he knew all of this stuff because he heard the missionary talk about it. He felt terrible. And, and so as he lay on his bed, he said, Jesus, I don't know what to do. I, you've got to help me. I, I, missionary girl says lying and, and stealing are wrong, that God doesn't like that, that it's sin. I, I don't know what to do. Please help me. And then he, uh, Ron Goof kind of felt a little sense of relief that he talked to Jesus about it. And, and he thought, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get that harmonium and, and I'm going to take it back. Because Missionary Brooks said, if you find the harmonium, take it to Miss Mary. Now, she was living in a tent in the village there because she was doing some language translations for the people. And so they could have the Bible in their language, in the Korku language. Uh, so um, Ringo thought, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get that, that thing. I'm going to find out from Miss Mary where Grubb's Aid is gone. And then I'll take the harmonium to it. So the next, but he said, you know, I haven't even played it yet. I'm going I'm to play it tomorrow morning before I take it back. Well, that probably wasn't right, but he got there the next morning and, and he pulled that harmonium out of the, out of the, the box where he put it, or out of the shelf where he put it and covered it with the, the twigs and branches and stuff. And he opened it up and he looked at it and he saw all the keys on it and the black keys and the white keys. And he saw the box that you have to move back and forth to put air through the harmonium. And so he said, okay, I know how Pandu does that. I can do that. And so he, he started to push it back and forth. And then he pushed down a key and another key and another key. It didn't sound like the music that Pandu made. It sounded terrible. It sounded like a bunch of noise. So I'm gonna try again. So he squeezed the box again and, and, and then pushed down some other keys. It sounded terrible again. Oh, this is horrible. What am I gonna do? So he closed it back up and he covered it back up. And said, I'm gonna wait. You know, he really should have gone back right then, but he said, I'm gonna wait and, and I'm gonna try it tomorrow. So he got through the day and did what he was supposed to do. And the next day he went out early before the other, other people got out to their fields and said, so he opened up the box and he played it. It wasn't any better. It wasn't any better at all. It was terrible sounding. And he felt terrible about it because he wanted to play beautiful music. He, he thought if I sing a song, that the missionary taught us in our Korku language, that may help. And so he started to sing the song that they learned from the missionary, and then he played the music. Didn't sound anything like it. He was so discouraged. Well, about that time, he started to hear a noise. Somebody was coming. He quickly closed up the, the box and, and, and shoved it back on the shelf before somebody got there. I wonder who it was. Well, next week we'll find out who it was, won't we? All right, there we go. All right, we'll have a prayer, and then I'll see you next week. Don't forget about Bible school this week. Father, thank you for what you have to teach us and for the lessons we have, and, and how Ringu is feeling bad, but talking to you helps him to know that you'll forgive him and, and that you, you don't hate him, that you love him, and you care about him. And so we pray that Ringu will do the right thing in this whole experience, even though the right thing seems strange to him. We hope you'll help him to do that. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, see you next week, boys and girls. Have a great week.